Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jordan. Today, I thought that I would do a popular makeup style and do a 90s off-duty supermodel makeup recreation. I feel like I pull so much makeup inspo from the 90s, especially off-duty supermodels. When I'm on Pinterest, I feel like that's like my whole homepage. So I pulled a few images that I was loving of things that I could maybe recreate. So here are a few images of some models that I absolutely love, like Cindy Crawford, Chrissy Turlington. I don't know who this is, don't come for me, but I loved her makeup and I thought that it looked really cool. And I definitely wanted to try to recreate it today. With that being said, I'm gonna get into the look. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin. So to prep my skin, I'm gonna use some sunscreen. This is the Kula um, SPF 30 Sun Drops and it's the anti-pollution SPF 30. Blend those in, blend that in. I've actually never used those before and I really like the way that feels and the way that looks. I feel really glowy already. I wanna create the iconic 90s brow. And in order to do that, I have to make sure that my brows stay pretty thin. My brows are naturally thin. I actually don't do anything to them. I don't really um, like pluck them or wax them or anything like that. If anything, I'll just trim them a little bit on top. Um, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Freeze today because this keeps my brows in place all day long. I'm gonna make sure that they're not too brushed up, that they're pretty, um, flat and thin. I feel like 90s brows, they're pretty arched and thin. I'm going to fill in my brows next with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is color soft brown. And I'm going to just thin them, or sorry, I'm just going to draw them in wherever they're not, just kind of like fill in all the missing pieces, but not overly fill them in, if you know what I mean. I hope that super thin brows don't come back into style because it took me 10 years to grow my brows back after that phase of life. So I plan to never touch them again. And I don't recommend if it does come back into style that anyone follows that trend. So that's my opinion on it. Kind of brush them out a little bit again. Okay, now for concealer, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Vanish Concealer today. This one's a little light for me right now, but I'm gonna use it to highlight the high points of my face and conceal any sort of little blemish. And then I'll go back over it with a little bit of a darker shade after to bring more color back into my face. I'm gonna take this little flat brush and kind of groom the brows out and sharpen those a bit. I'll go back in, go back in with a beauty blender after, but I just kind of wanna target smaller areas of the face, just be a little more precise for now. I have to use a little mirror to do those like precise because I have to get close to the mirror otherwise I know it looks crazy right now and it looks super bright but it's gonna look great when I do my foundation in two seconds for foundation today I'm gonna use the NARS sheer glow foundation in medium one this is one of my faves I feel like it's just a great everyday foundation. It's not too full coverage. I want to keep the face pretty natural. I want to look like it's my skin and that I'm not too covered, but I still want to look glowy as well. I drew a little heart on my hand earlier because I listened to this meditation that said, if you ever feel like you have anxiety, you need to like create a focal point on your body so that you can become aware or just like more self-aware. Um, and take your focus off of any sort of anxiety you have. Um, it's definitely something I struggle with. Like I will hyperfixate on one thing and I'll get really anxious about it. So I need like a distraction to kind of come back down into myself and realize that everything's okay and that what I'm focusing on doesn't deserve the amount of energy that I'm putting into it. 
So yeah, that's my little mental health tip of the day. I try not to put too much foundation on my forehead because I feel like that's the first place it comes off. I don't know why, but look at the neck and the chest. Okay, I'm gonna use some powder just to kind of mattify a bit um, because in the 90s, I feel like people aren't too glowy. They're a little more matte. So I'm gonna use my Bare Pro Bare Minerals 16 Hour Perfecting Foundation. Even though it's a powder foundation, it really does um, keep the integrity and texture of your skin. It looks really beautiful and natural. And I like to do it on areas just to set my foundation. I'll just show you guys how good it looks. You're probably thinking like, what? A powder foundation, that's so random. But trust me, it looks so good. My friend the other day was like, what are you wearing on your face? Like your skin looks so good. And I was like, you're never gonna believe me when I tell you, but it's the Bare Minerals um, powder foundation. And she was shook and she literally was like, I'm ordering it right now. See? still keeps the integrity of the glow, but really sets it in place. For blush today, I'm gonna use the Gen Nude Bare Minerals Blush. This is color Peachy Keen. It's such a pretty rosy color blush. I feel like in the 90s, they didn't really use too much like pink. It was more of like a reddish color blush. And they also would apply it like more down here on the apples of their cheeks versus up here, like where 2022 style makeup applies the blush. I love this color so much. I've been loving Bare Minerals products lately and I feel like they're good for your skin too. That looks nice and glowy. I feel like 90s makeup isn't too like chiseled or contoured. It's definitely very soft. So I'm just gonna go in with a bronzer today instead of a contour. I'm using the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in one gold dust. It's definitely one of my favorite bronzers of all time. And I'm using the Rare Beauty um, foundation brush. But I like it because I can kind of concentrate the bronzer in areas that I wanna be a little bit more tanned. And then I'm gonna take a larger brush and just kind of dust that over my face just to add a little bit more bronze. This is a new palette that I just got in from Kevin Aquan and I'm really excited. It's so beautiful. Okay, look, it has these stunning colors in it. It has a lot of nice like taupey browns and then blacks and grays and some nice nudes and stuff like that as well. Um, so I'm gonna use this today and I think I'm gonna start on the base with this nice taupey brown color and just do a light wash over my lid. This is super pigmented. I definitely only need one layer of that. Okay, wow, love that. Looks really nice actually. I really love this palette. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a cleaner brush, make it really clean. Okay, so I feel like a 90s eye is very like smoky and sexy. And so I wanna do this kind of grayish silver color and then this black and then a mix of the browns too and just make it really sultry and pretty. I'm gonna take this gray and go in on the lid. Just a little bit. Just kind of fan it out a little bit at the edge. You really don't need a lot of product on your brush with this palette. It's so pigmented, you guys. I'm just going for it. Um, I hope that it turns out cute. <laughs> Okay, now that the gray is done, I'm gonna take this purple and brown and kind of mix those together, warm up the lid a little more and just add a little plum to the eyes because I feel like that 
definitely makes it super 90s. I feel like I remember my mom wearing like a plum eyeshadow or like any sort of like purpley shade in the 90s and that's kind of what we're going for today. Okay, I'm nervous to do this, but I'm gonna take a little bit of the black and smoke it out just a little bit more the edge of the eye and along the lash line. Just make it really sultry. We're doing a full 90s smoky eye moment. You can always add more later, but I just wanna make sure that it looks nice and blended. Okay, now I'm gonna take a black liner from Makeup Forever and I'm going to line and I'm gonna do a little bit on the lid. Just so that we can smoke it out. Okay, now I'm just gonna smoke it out with a little brush. This is the Hourglass Brush in 12. And you can kind of smoke it out into a wing. Cause I'm not gonna use any wing liner today. I'm just gonna use shadow and gel liner. And the nice thing about this is that you can be kind of messy with it. Like you can just kind of like brush it wherever. Okay. The last thing I'm gonna do in this palette is I'm gonna take that white that I just used in the beginning with this little silvery color up here. And I'm going to put that under the brow. And if you want to clean it up at all, you can take your beauty blender and just kind of wipe going up and then pat it back into place. I'm going to use the Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara. This is one of my faves and I'm going to pop on some falsies on top of this, but I just want to do a nice little coat base for lashes i'm gonna use these mac lashes that i've already cut in half i used the other half in a different makeup look the other day and i'm just going to cut these down again and use these today they're just like these really pretty little wispy falsies. Okay, and then I'm just going to put those on, oops, the outer corners. So this is one of my favorite lip hacks of all time, and I feel like it's perfect for this look. I like to take eyeshadow. This is actually such a beat up old palette, but it's from NARS. It's the NARS Wanted palette. I've used it so much. I've had it for like over a year now, which is probably bad, but I love it so much that I can't get rid of it. I'm gonna take this kind of brownish color here and then this nude and recreate my favorite 90s lip, which is a kind of like a brown lined lip with like a nice flushed center. And I'm going to use a brush and actually brush it on there. This, in my opinion, stays way longer than a lip liner. And it also looks better, in my opinion, some days. I don't know why, but this hack has always worked for me. I know a lot of makeup artists do this too, but it gets that like perfect pouty contoured 90s neutral lip. Okay, and that's what it looks like after you do the shadow. It looks so good. And in the center of my lips, I'm gonna take my favorite lip stain from Dear Dahlia. This is a really pretty kind of like orangey reddish tint and it makes the natural color of your lips really pop and look really beautiful. I like to use just a tiny bit and just add a little bit of color back into the center. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna use the YSL, what is this, Rouge Shine Lip Balm Lipstick 
looks like this. It's this really pretty kind of nudish brown bronzy lip. And I'm just going to blot that over top of the lip stain. And the lip stain doesn't really do much. It just helps it stay in place all day. And this is color 121. So that's, I'm gonna finish the look with this Fix Plus spray from MAC. Okay. Here is my super 90s glam off-duty supermodel look. I love it so much. So this is the final look. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was fun and that you guys could recreate. As always, I linked all the products that I used below in the description in case you want to shop anything. Thank you guys so much for the support and I hope to see you in the next video.